Hey everyone, welcome to Northern Viking Every Day. If you're new here, my name is Ken, and today we're gonna to be doing a quick PC building tutorial for you. We're gonna be showing you how to install a graphics card into your PC. Now, it's really quite simple to do, and in specific today, we're gonna to be installing this Intel Arc A770 16 gigabyte limited edition card onto an MSI MPG Z690 carbon Wi-Fi motherboard. If you are interested in any of the components I'm using in this build, I will have them all linked below in the description. But let's go ahead and dive right into it. Now our first step is to remove the side panels off of our PC. Make sure that your computer is off and unplugged and we can remove our side panels. Many of these will have four screws in the corners to remove them. I actually have a door so I can lift mine off. Pretty easy to take mine off. And then the back panel, there's usually a couple of screws to undo to slide that off as well. So let's figure out where we're gonna install our graphics card. So we're looking for our PCIe slot here and typically the best practice would be to install it in the first one here closest to your CPU. Now, often these will have metal shielding around it, giving it support for your graphics card. So I'm gonna just grab my graphics card here and hold it up in the correct spot, just like that. And what we're looking for over here on the left-hand side, you can see there's these metal covers here and we just need to figure out which metal covers we need to remove to put in our graphics card for the IO to point out the back there. So I can see it's the second and the third one for myself. And I'll pull this out here and then we'll go ahead and remove those covers. On my case here, there's two screws I just need to remove to remove those back covers. But on some PC cases, these covers, you actually have to wiggle them back and forth and snap them out of place. Or there might be a little cover on the back side that you need to remove as well. So for myself, it's pretty easy. There's just a couple little screws and they come out just like that. And that's the first one. And I'll do the second one here as well. So let's figure out which cables we need to run from our power supply. So you can see on this ARC A770, it's a six pin power cable and an eight pin power cable for the PCIe. And some graphics cards will just have the eight pin, some will just have the six pin on older ones, and some of them um, might be in other configurations as well. So I need a six pin and an eight pin. Now I've already fed through some of the power cables here. So this one here is a six plus two. So I'm gonna be using the six portion of that for there. Now these are pigtailed together. So some people might um, be able to use two connectors off one cable. The other option is to run through two cables, which I'm gonna do here if you have the capability of doing that. I think that's best practice is if you have two cables to use two separate cables for these. On the back of my PC here, I have a modular power supply. So I just found those PCIe cables in the box and plugged them in the back of my power supply and fed them up through the hole here. Now, if your power supply is not modular, you'll have a whole clump of wires down here and you'll just have to dig through them and find the correct cables and feed them up through the bottom. So let's go ahead and install our graphics card here. Now make sure you remove the rubber protector off the PCIe connections there. And back here actually on the PCIe slot, there's the PCIe slot here and there's a little button you kind of have to push down here. Make sure that is pushed down like that because when you push the graphics card in, that will snap back into place. We'll go ahead and grab our graphics card and we're gonna take it and line it up there. Make sure the PCIe connector lines up with the slot. Make sure all the wires and cables are out of the way and have it lined up. And we're gonna give it a good push here and it should snap into place just like that. So it's in holding in there into the PCIe slot. And now we can put the screw back in over here that we removed when we removed those covers. You're just gonna to wanna to line it up there with the hole. Let me go ahead and put that in there, tighten it down and I'm gonna lift it up just a little bit and tighten that down into place like that. So let's connect our PCIe cables from our power supply. I'll do the six pin first. Um, that one says PCIe on the side. Make sure it's in the correct direction and just slide it in just like that. And we'll grab the other one here. Now this is a six plus two. They kind of fit together like that. And then we can plug it in right there. All right, just like that. And for this ARC A770, there's also a cable that came with it 
um, for the RGB. So that plugs in right there. It's a tiny little three pin. You won't find this on most graphics cards, but uh, the odd one you will see this. So that just plugs in there like that. And then the other end says USB on it and it's kind of a 10 pin connector with one corner blocked off. On my motherboard that goes down here at the bottom, it says J USB one. So I'll go ahead and plug that in down there. So I got that plugged in there and then it's fed down to the bottom there where it says USB. So I plugged in my computer and fired it up and all of the RGB lighting lit up right away. So that's all working. Let's jump over to my computer and just talk about the drivers quickly. So the last step in installing your graphics card is to install the drivers and software. So I'm over here on Intel's website for the Intel Arc A770 graphics card. This is the card I installed. I'll have links to their drivers below in the description. Now, of course, if you're using a different graphics card, you'll need to do a quick search for the drivers for your card. In here, you'll find the drivers and the software. They both come in the download. I did the beta one. It seems to be working great. There's also the stable one here. Just click on download and go ahead and install that. And it's a really simple process to install. There's also the Intel Arc RGB controller here. Just click download here and that will allow you to change all the colors and everything on your graphics card in the RGB. So once you're done that, you are set to go. I should mention that once I plugged in my graphics card, only one of my monitors did work until I installed the drivers and then both of them started working right away. Now, if you are using an NVIDIA or an AMD graphics card, you will of course need to jump over to their websites to get their drivers to run those graphics card. But that's it. It's really that simple to install a graphics card in your PC. So hope this tutorial was able to help you get your graphics card or your Intel Arc A770 installed into your system. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with me on social media and subscribe here on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.